Good evening and welcome to the April 17th council meeting. If you'd please stand, Councilman George is going to lead us in the flag salute. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Well, we have some exciting ceremonials here this evening, and our house is packed, so this is going to be fun. Our first presentation is introduction of Chino Youth Basketball League teams who represented the city of Chino in the Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Inland Empire Association Regional Tournaments on March 17th and 18th. Each team placed third overall out of 18 teams in their respective age categories. So first, for the Bruins, uh, led by community services staff coaches Andrea Juarez and Justin uh, Biagton, they participated in Division C for 9 and 10-year-olds, and they were hosted by the city of Norco. I'd like to call up Andrea and Justin, please. Go Bruins. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as you can see, this is an amazing accomplishment for my team. Um, so we not only got the chance to play here at the NAC, but we got to represent the city also in the city of Norco. And um, I'm very proud with the way that we finished. And it's a great opportunity for the boys to, to keep playing past season's end. And I'm very proud of what we accomplished this season. Thank you. Okay, first we, ha we have um, for you, Coach, and it reads congratulations to the Bruin Chino Youth Basketball Team for placing third in the SCMAF Inland Empire Association Regional Tournament. You. You're welcome. And then we have certificates, for, stay here, we have certificates for the team also. So first we have Dominic Adams, Jr. <laughs> Amir Bozeman. <laughs> Congratulations. Carson Cisneros. <laughs> Congratulations. Max Martinez. Matthew Salinas. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Dion? Dion. Dion Stewart. Congratulations. You're welcome. Abraham Vicario. These may not be here. Logan Cerna. Let's give him a hand anyway. I'll have you hold that. And then we have Eli McMuffin. Good morning. Oh, McMullen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. I must be hungry. <laughs> it's 
excuse me, didn't have dinner yet. <laughs> Diego Luna. Oh, okay, and this is for Justin. Thank you. Boys, congratulations. Fantastic, we're very proud of you and thank you for representing Chino. Let's give him another hand. Any parent, would you like to take a picture of them? Go ahead. Fire away. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Next, we have the Gorillas, led by uh, volunteer coaches Richard Motijo and Russell Tumange. They participated in Division B for 11 and 12 year olds and they were hosted by the city of Riverside. Is Russell not here? No. Okay, cool. This is their trophy. Would you like to say a few words about the team? Or? Uh, yeah, we had, um, uh, uh, well I want to thank God for the opportunity just to be able to um, um, share with the boys, you know, on, on um, how to play basketball, the, the fundamentals, everything. We had a great team this year um, um, in our boys. Uh, we went here as uh, city champs 9-0. and uh, Then from here we went to the, we had the opportunity to go to Riverside to represent our city. Uh, and that seemed like a, a, a whole season in itself. Uh, yeah, because we played three games one day and then we went to play three games the next day. And I'm sure the, the parents felt it. So we want to thank the parents uh, too. Uh, but I want to thank the, the, the city of Chino just for the opportunity to go uh, and represent our city, Chino. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Turn that around. Okay. Richard, we have a certificate of recognition for you as coach. We also have uh, one. Oh, you have the other coaches? I'll give him. And this is for Russell yeah. as well. Okay. Aaron Alvarado. Congratulations. Noah Cardenas. You're pretty tall. Steve Chavez. Congratulations. Christian Cisner or uh oh. Crescenzo. Crescenzo. Congratulations. Okay. Kai Din. Come on, Kai. <laughs> Congratulations. Christian Lieb. Come on, Christian. Congratulations. Elijah Montijo. Montijo, come on. Yeah, I did it right. <laughs> Congratulations. Ty Tumange. TJ. 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 Sorry about that. TJ. Congratulations. Eddie Vega. Come on, Eddie. Congratulations. And Teo Tuke. He didn't make it today, but we'll give him a hand anyway. Congratulations, boys. We're very proud of you, and Coach, you did a great job. We're so proud of the kids in our community. Yeah. Chino is different than any other community in the whole Inland Empire, and we're so proud of you. Have your parents take a picture. And Coach, you want to hold your trophy, too? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> boys will be boys, right? Next, we have a presentation of the Chino Police Department trading cards. I'd like to call up Lieutenant Kevin Menson, who's obviously with our police department. Yourself. Oh, are you doing good? This is fun. 
Yes, yes. Good evening, Madam Mayor, members of the council. First, I'd like to introduce, this is Crime Prevention uh, Specialist Tamron Olden and Officer Matt jo uh, Johnson that were part of the team to, to make this happen. So we're here today to show off our third edition of our police trading cards. We had our, uh, our first edition that was in 2001, our second edition that was in 2002. So we had a group of, of employees that were talking about all of the excitement that there was, both with their officers and with the community back uh, in the early 2000s when we first presented these cards, and so we wanted to do that again. So we, uh, we recently put together a committee that went out and solicited sponsors from local businesses that paid for this project. And a couple months ago, we handed out these cards to, to our staff and began handing out to the community. And again, we saw that exact same excitement that we, uh, that we saw nearly, nearly 16 years ago. So we're here today on behalf of the Russ Miller Foundation to present to you, Madam Mayor, members of the council and the city manager, your own framed third edition of the police trading cards. Wow, I wish I could take them home. This is fantastic. They'll be in the council office. These cards generate so much excitement with the community and the kids. It's really fun to see the kids run up to an officer. Do you have a card? Do you have a card? You gotta remember to carry them with you all the time. Yes, yes. <laughs> kids actually go out and collect them. They, they, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a, a challenge to see how many they can, can, can collect. So they're, they go out and find our officers. They wave them down as they're driving down the street and asking them for their, uh, for their training card. Back when we were at the old police station, we'd have them lined up by the, uh, the back gate of the police station waiting for them to drive out to, uh, to collect their training cards. So we're, we're seeing some of that same excitement now that we saw, like I said, 16 years ago. Which is really exciting. We need good interaction between our youth and our police department. It's so important. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have a very, very special introduction. I'd like to call up our chief of police, Karen Comstock, and she's going to introduce our new canine and her handler. We're truly integrated now. We have a female police dog. All right. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, Madam Mayor, members of the council. It's my honor tonight, he's uh, standing outside uh, to introduce, actually just entered the, the council chambers, Officer Brendan Rowland, and it's Canine Police Service Dog, Canine Cobra. Welcome. Yeah. Brendan's been with us for several years now, and this is his first assignment as a handler for our agency. Cobra is a Belgian Malinois, and you're correct, Mary, she is the first of a, fe uh, a, a, a female uh, police service dog force, trying to diversify the entire police force, as you see. <laughs> and I'm going to let Brendan speak uh, on Cobra for just a few seconds and maybe even uh, display some obedience training. Uh, handling these dogs requires an, an extra commitment. Training and obedience is of, of priority. And Brendan's been doing a great job with Cobra. They've also been to recently to some specialized training. So I'll turn it over to Brendan right now to introduce his partner. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, like I said, my name is Brendan Rowland. Okay, I'm one of the canine officers for the city of Chino. This is Cobra. She uh, she just turned two years old on uh, December 24th, so Christmas Eve. Um, as you can tell, she's uh, she's quiet, which is nice. I don't have hearing issues yet. Um, her command, she's from Slovakia, so we actually through our vendor we import these dogs over in Eastern Europe and Europe in general. They have very good lineages of dog training, things like that. So that's where we still get our dogs from. Um, so her commands are actually in Czech. Every now and then people catch me saying that she speaks Czech. My dog doesn't talk. <laughs> and she listens in Czech though. So uh, I had to diversify myself and learn some Czech commands. So don't test me on them, but I do have um, so yeah, uh, Cobra now, she's, uh, we just finished the uh, canine SWAT school, which is SKIDS. Um, we went through that, and uh, she's been working patrol with me since the end of December. So we uh, were out there and 
doing a couple deployments every now and then, every night, maybe, depending on what's going on in the city. Um, she's, uh, she's actually a great resource for us. She saves us a lot of man hours. We can search buildings a lot quicker, uh, which, is, which is great. And uh, she's actually turned into quite a favorite dog on patrol. All the guys are pretty comfortable around her. So she's really fun to work with. So we'll see. She's excited right now, too. She likes the attention. So we'll see if she'll do some obedience. Yeah. She, yeah, yeah. She is a runner. So that's a, for her, that's a down and check. Can you, like, from here? Like, yeah. So commands like this for us that are perfectly good and searching buildings, things like that. Can you imagine having a dog that doesn't listen? Right? Or we're searching an 80,000 square foot warehouse. You might not see that dog again. So we need a dog to listen. We spend every day we're training these dogs. So in the canine unit, we have a little different role. Um, they're out there training multiple hours a day. So am I not loud enough? <laughs> Bring, you know. So bye. Good. So like I said, we're training these dogs. Um, once a week, we have a training group with Ontario, Pomona, um, and Upland that we get together and for two hours with multiple dogs, we just we strictly train on uh, kind of police applications. And then every night we're training these dogs. Every time I'm on patrol, I'm training these dogs, whether it's obedience, um, you know, bite work, apprehension work, searching buildings, things like that. So and that's Cobra in a nutshell. Officer Roland and Cobra, welcome to the department. We're happy to have you on our team. What's more important is that we, these dogs save us countless hours each year. As you know, their hearing is amazing. Their sense of smell is uh, fantastic. They save us countless hours in narcotic searches, searches for su subjects, outstanding suspects, as well as uh, what we call property searches and evidence. Uh, the Chino Police Department is equipped with pl uh, four police service dogs. We pr presently have three in service. And we're very, very happy to have Cobra as part of our team. I want to thank the mayor and the council for your support of this program. Thank you very much. <coughs> right. I remember uh, when we first got the first dog in. How many years ago was that now? Oh, my goodness. That would, that would be uh, uh, Officer Planis with K-9 Munko and uh, Officer McCord with K-9 Fowry. Yeah, so, yes. A long time ago. They've been so worth it, and they're such good PR. Thank you so much for bringing her down. Her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And Chief, I, I still have your uh, police card that says Sergeant Comstock. <laughs> yeah, good series. There you go. Well, that was fun with the kids. Mr. Galante, would you please like to report out of our closed session? Certainly. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of the council and audience. The city council met in closed session to discuss all items listed on the closed session agenda, specifically um, item A, conference with legal counsel. Uh, under items one and two, uh, both are uh, existing lawsuits by FHII LLC DBA Frontier Communities. Uh, case number 1722-359 and 1806-177. City Council discussed both of those matters and received an update. No further reportable action was taken. Item B, liability claim by uh, FII LLC, DBA Frontier Communities. City Council re received an update on that claim uh, and uh, no reportable action was taken. That concludes the uh, report out of closed session, Madam Mayor. Okay, thank you, Fred. Next item on the agenda is public communication. This is the time and the place for the general public to address the council on items that are not on the agenda. Um, our first item, I'd like to call up Mr. John Matta from the Cavalry Chapel, Chino Valley. He's gonna lead us in an invocation. So all those who would like to join, please stand. Thank you, Mayor, Madam, <laughs> Madam Mayor, City Council members, Mr. Attorney, City Manager on behalf of Pastor David Rosales in Calvary 
Chapel Chino Valley, thank you for this opportunity. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for an opportunity where we can come and hear great things that you're doing within this community, Lord. We ask for your guidance for our Madam Mayor and the council members to our city attorney and city manager, Lord. We ask for guidance and wisdom and discernment. Lord, we thank you for uh, the police officers and we ask that you would protect them, Lord, the first emergency responders of the city, Lord, and for the entire community of Chino, Lord, we ask that your hand of grace and mercy will always be on this wonderful city, Lord. And for those who are here and the members and the families that are represented, we thank you again. Thank you for this opportunity. Allow your presence to be part of this meeting. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. We have two written requests to speak. Uh, first is Assemblyman Rodriguez. Are you here this evening? Oh, his representative, come on up. Uh, she's gonna speak on AB 2028. Madam Mayor and our Council, I thought I really put my name there, but I guess I didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> so, um, like uh, you mentioned, I'm here to provide uh, an update to the community, specifically uh, on AB 2028. Um, so, uh, and this is on behalf of Assemblymember Freddie Rodriguez. So, um, in light of recent events involving the uh, Chino Prison for Men and the overall aging infrastructure challenges on a number of uh, California prisons, um, the assembly member had decided to introduce uh, AB 2028, again, which is called Security Oversight for California's Correctional Facilities. Uh, to give you some background on the bill, um, this bill would require the Office of the Inspector General to conduct an annual security assessment of all state prisons and report to the legislator findings and recommendations from those assessments. Uh, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation must immediately resolve any deficiencies identified in the uh, Inspector General's report or create a corrective action plan for those that cannot be immediately resolved. Um, so the assembly member, um, he's a strong supporter of safer communities and he felt that it was necessary to introduce this bill um, to add more uh, security and safety measures. Um, this bill is currently going through the committee process, specifically located in the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Um, the assembly member also wanted me to thank uh, the city of Chino um, leadership and the Chino Police Department uh, for being very cooperative and all the, their assistance on this piece of legislation. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If anybody has any questions, they wanna stay up to, up to date on this bill, or they even have input, uh, we'd be more than happy to connect. Um, and the district office number is 909-902-9606. So um, I have some fact sheets uh, on the bill. Um, and just to correct something on the fact sheet, um, at first it was introduced with the 12 oldest prisons in California, but now um, it was amended for all prisons. Mm. So okay. yeah, any, any, and if, yeah, any questions, please. Uh, let us know and yeah thank you for your time okay, thank you very much um to give you a little bit of background what's happening is the state wants to put a uh, mental health hospital at the prison and as you know it's it's i think it's the second oldest in the state of california and and desperately needs to be rehabbed um, there's been some breaks as we know prison breaks and one, uh, the last one was found still on site, but still um, to add a whole new facility and have <clears throat> an aging prison with aging infrastructure is just not acceptable. They need to bring that whole site up to date. They need to hook to the sewer. There's many, many, many things that that facility needs before they ever move forward to uh, place a larger facility there and another and a mental hospital. Next written request to speak is Sylvia Orozco, and she'd like to bring up some school district dates to pencil in. Sylvia? Good evening, uh, Sylvia Orozco with the Chino Valley Unified School Board. I wanted to share some dates to ask you to pencil in, and we hope to see you. Um, as you know, Mr. Joseph will be retiring this year. Um, June 30th will be his last day. We will be having a reception for him on May 17th at 3 p.m. at Woodcrest. And there's gonna be um, formal invitations for all these dates forthcoming. So just wanted to kind of give you a heads up so that you don't have anything else going on that day. So May 17th, three o'clock at Woodcrest, 
for Mr. Joseph's uh, reception. Then we have our graduations. As you know, our school year is coming to an end and again so quickly. So our graduations for this, the schools in Chino will be on May 30th. Three o'clock will be Don Lugo's graduation. Seven o'clock will be Chino High School's graduation. And that again will be at the Citizens Arena Bank. Then we will have on May 31st at six o'clock at Buena Vista, the Buena Vista, Buena Vista graduation. And so I just wanted to give you a heads up and I hope to see all of you at all those dates. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> okay, those are the only two written requests to speak. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to address the council on any item that's not on the agenda? Okay, seeing none. We have a tradition here and that is that any student that is attending the meeting for a class requirement or any other reason, we would like you to come up to the lectern and give us your name, the school that you're attending, the class you're taking, and your teacher. So there's a lot of students here, come on. This way you can prove you were here for class credit. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, what do I have to say? Again? You can pull it up a little bit. There you go. Uh, <laughs> no cheating, no cheating. Okay, sh so we can hear him. Shh. Okay. Okay, I'm Joseph Ferro. I go to Ontario Christian. I'm taking AP, US, Gov, and Politics, and my teacher's Mr. Zaitama. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dakota Stroman. I go to Ontario Christian as well, and uh, I just take regular government, not AP. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, same teacher, Mr. Zaitama. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm Rachel Santos. Uh, I go to Ontario Christian as well, and um, I take regular government. Yeah, that will see night. Um, hello. Uh, hello. Joey Benson, uh, grade 12. I go to Ontario Christian, and my teacher is Mr. Zydema, and the class I take is Gov. Hello, I'm Ezekiel Zaragoza. I go to Ontario Christian, and I'm a senior, and I take government for Mr. Zydema. I'm Gerardo, I go to Don Lugo, and I take government for Mr. Pope. Do you have a last name, Gerardo? Gerardo Sanchez. Uh, I'm Christian Hernandez, and I go to Lugo, and my teacher's Mr. Pope, and I take normal government. Normal <laughs> government, <laughs> okay. No such thing. Yeah, there's no such thing as a normal government. <laughs> my name is Olivia Venerable, I go to Ontario Christian High School. I take government with Mr. Zydema. Thank you. Okay. Hi, my name is Isabella Burroughs. I go to Ontario Christian as well. Um, I take regular government <laughs> for Mr. Zydema. Oh, now I'm a senior. Thank you. <laughs> Almost over. Hi, my name is Tiffany Gunawan. I go to Don Lugo and I'm taking a government class with Mr. Beloso. Okay. You have to speak up just a little bit more. Hello, my name is Amanda Vigarin. I go to Don Antonio Lugo High School. Um, my teacher is Mr. Pope, and I'm in government. Thank you. Hi, my name is Celeste Valencia. I go to Don Lugo High School. I take econ with Mr. Beloso. Hi, my name is Bailey Canardi, and I'm in government for Mr. Pope's class. Hi, my name is Skylar Karnbach. I go to Don Lugo and I take econ for with Mr. Beloso. My name is Olivia Boyer. I go to Don Lugo. I'm taking government with Mr. Pope. Hi, my name is Valerie Contreras. I go to Don Lugo and I'm a senior and I take economics with Mr. Beloso. She had to stand on her tiptoes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Miguel Rivera. I go to Don Lugo High School and I'm taking government with Mr. Pope. Hi, my name is Vincent Espathia. I'm a senior at Don Lugo High School and I take economics with Mr. Beloso. Hi, I'm Avery Amateri and I'm a senior at Ontario Christian and I am taking government with Mr. Zydema. Hi, I'm Diego Daza and uh, I take AP government at Ontario Christian with Mr. Zydema. I'm Megan Whalen, and I take AP Government and Politics at Ontario Christian, um, and my teacher's Mr. Zaitama. Thank you all for being here this evening. For all of, the, all of you students that go to Don Lugo, 
I'll be principal for a day there tomorrow. I'll be looking for Mr. Pope's class, and I will see you there. <laughs> He's warning you. <clears throat> okay, is there anyone else in the audience that needs to address the council on any item that's not on the agenda? Okay, then we'll move on to the consent calendar. We are pulling item number 10 and referring it back to staff for further review. So a motion for the balance of the consent calendar. Yes, Gary? Can I pull one? Sure. Okay, I'd like to pull uh, item number eight just for discussion. Okay, so one through seven, number nine and number 11. Is there a motion? There's a motion from Mayor Pro Tem Howie, second from Councilman George. And the consent calendar passes four yes with one absent. Okay, item number eight. Uh, is our notice of completion, the Ayala Park Fields 5 and 6 turf renovation project. Gary, would you like a staff report? Uh, no, I don't need a staff report. This is just a comment. Okay. On the, um, thank you, though, uh, Jesus. The um, Ayala Park Fields 5 and 6, my grandson plays uh, National Little League there. Chino American Little League. And uh, the, uh, he plays on uh, Fields 5 and 6, and I just want to compliment yeah, everybody on how great those fields turned out. He's having a great time on those fields and they look fantastic. Yeah. So well, thank you. Thank you for the comment. Okay, right. then uh, would you like to make the motion for approval? Okay, motion from Councilman George, second from Mayor Pro Tem Howie. And the item passes for yes with one absent. Next item on the agenda is new business. Item number 13, award of contract maintenance of concrete bridge decks. This is to award a contract in the amount of $109,109 to Truesdale Corporation, Tempe, Arizona, for the maintenance of concrete bridge decks at Walnut Avenue, east of Reservoir, Reservoir Street, Riverside Drive, west of Euclid, and Central Avenue, south of Cheney Hills Parkway. Our staff report will be provided by our Public Works Services Manager, Mr. Dave McAbee. Good evening, Mayor and members of City Council. Public Works Department is responsible for the maintenance of our city's bridges and the roadway of our bridge decks in accordance with the Federal Highway Act and the National Bridge Inspection Standards. Caltrans is responsible for the inspection of all in-service bridges within the state to include those owned by the city, county, or other local agencies or the state itself. In July of 2016, Caltrans identified three concrete bridge decks that require maintenance. The maintenance work will consist of surface preparation, cleaning and sealing of the bridge decks with methacrylate, which is a commercial concrete sealer. Uh, the bridges identified uh, are on Walnut Avenue, bridge 54C0137, which is just east of Reservoir Street, bridge 54C0572 on Riverside Drive, half mile west of Euclid Avenue, and bridge number 54C0676, which is on Central Avenue, a half mile south of Chino Hills Parkway. Specifications were prepared, and on March 7, 2018, a notice inviting bids was published in the Chino Champion and on Planet Bids. On March 21, 2018, <coughs> excuse me, the city received two sealed bids. Truesdale Corporation of Tempe, Arizona, was determined to be the lowest responsive and responsible bidder. Therefore, staff recommends awarding a contract to Truesdale Corporation in the amount of $109,109. Staff is also requesting authorization to spend up to $10,911 for extraordinary work for a total contract cost not to exceed $120,020. That concludes my report, and I would be happy to answer any questions you may have on this item. Okay, thank you very much, Dave. <coughs> uh, prior to council questions, this is not a public hearing, but is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the council on this item? Okay, seeing none. Mr. Howie? Yeah, Mr. McAbee, how, how often have we had to uh, do this kind of work on these bridges, or have we ever had to do any work on these bridges? This is the first time we have had to do this work for our bridges, but this is very common. Caltrans does this type of work for their bridges oh. very frequently. So it's a common practice, but this is new for us as a city. 
And how long is this? Is, do we have a warranty on this, or how long do we figure this is going to last on these bridges? This kind of work. Well, what this does is this allows the bridge itself, the structure of the bridge, to last much longer because it's when it seals the deck, it keeps the moisture out, so the rebar and the concrete doesn't corrode away, basically. So this ex greatly extends the life of the bridge. Okay, great. That's all I got. Any other comments or questions? Okay, then I would entertain a motion. Okay, there's a motion from Councilman Elrod, second from Councilman George, and the item passes four yes with one absent. Item number four, storm drain reimbursement, Chino Development Corporation. This item is to approve an immediate reimbursement in the amount of $5,929,069.87 to Chino Development Corporation, a California corporation, for storm drain improvements in the preserve. Our staff report this evening will be provided by our city engineer, Jesus Plasencia. Uh, good evening, Mayor and members of the City Council. On June 16, uh, 2015, the city entered into a reimbursement agreement with Chino Development Corporation, or LUIS, uh, in the amount of $13,409,387 for storm drain improvements in the preserve. The agreement requires the city to pay LUIS 100% of the preserved storm drain development impact fees collected from non-LUIS development that drains to the public storm drain improvements that were constructed by LUIS. The agreement stipulates that reimbursements will commence February 1st, 2016 for DIF fees collected the preceding calendar year and every year thereafter until the balance is paid in full. For calendar year 2017, the storm drain DIF collected from non-Lewis development that benefits from Lewis's public storm drain improvements was $5,929,069.87. Therefore, in accordance with the reimbursement agreement, Staff recommends that the City Council approve an immediate reimbursement to Lewis in the amount of $5,929,069.87. That concludes my presentation. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Once again, this is not a public hearing item, but is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the Council? Okay, seeing none. Any comments or questions? Okay, then I would entertain a motion. Motion from Councilman Elrod, second from Councilman George. And the item passes for yes with one absent. <coughs> Next on the agenda is Mayor and Council reports. Um, first, for all our parents out there, please make sure you don't miss the upcoming garden workshops and children's discovery workshops happening this Saturday at the Chino Community Garden located at 5976 Riverside Drive with the garden workshop planting a summer garden starting at 8.30 a.m. and children's discovery workshop, the wonderful world of butterflies starting at 10. These events include gardening tips for the summer months and the role that butterflies serve for pollination. Both events are free, but space is limited, so make sure you register early. For more information, please call Healthy Chino at 909-334-3478. Additionally, help us celebrate Earth Month by casting your nomination through www.nrpa.org slash Disney Meet, M-E-E-T, Meet, M-E-A-T, at, or Meet, shoot, Meet Me at, wow. Okay, <laughs> www.nrpa.org slash Disney <laughs> Meet Me at the Park. Boy. Here, the community can nominate Chino to receive a $20,000 park grant made possible by Disney and the National Recreation and Parks Association. The way it works is the city that receives the most votes by the end of April can receive funding to improve their parks. So please do your part by logging on and casting your nomination. So for more information, please visit, I'll do this right this time, www meetmeatthepark.org. See, when you, it's all spelled out, it looks different. Also, I wanted to give an early reminder that the 2018 Mayor's State of the City is happening on Tuesday, May 8th from 11 to 1.30 at the Chafee College Chino Community Center. This year's theme is Model of Success because, as you know, we constantly strive to better our community and make Chino the best place it can be for both our residents and businesses. 
Here we will look back at the year 2017 to see all that was accomplished while also setting goals for the upcoming year. All those interested must RSVP by Tuesday, May 1st by visiting the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce website, www.chinovalleychamberofcommerce.com. And lastly, sadly, we are adjourning tonight's meeting in the memory of former Chino Valley School District Communications Director, Julie Gobin. Julie was born in Milwaukee in 1957, and upon graduating from the University of Wisconsin in 1979, made her way out to California. Before the school district hired her in 2006, Julie worked as an editor and office manager for the Inland Valley Daily Bulletin. This diverse background helped her thrive in her new position as communications director. During her tenure, Julie became a founding partner of the Make a Child Smile event, received state and national awards from public relations groups, and served as president of the Chino Valley Chamber of Commerce. Julie's care for this community is evident, both through her work and the request made upon her passing. The family requests that in lieu of flowers that individuals please make contributions to the Chino Valley Fire Foundation in the name of Julie Gobin Memorial. Please send contributions to 14011 City Center Drive, Chino Hills, California, 91709. Julie is survived by her, per, her husband, two sons, and two grandchildren, and she will be greatly missed. Uh, I'm going to go through what I attended the last two weeks very quickly. Um, Wednesday, April 4th, I attended the Omnitrans and San Bernardino uh, County Transportation Authority Board of Directors. Thursday, April 5th, the Sewage Policy Committee. So exciting. On Friday, April 6th, uh, Arbor Day at the Youth Museum. Saturday, April 7th, I attended Martin Salgado's uh, Celebration of Life Services and his funeral. What a wonderful man. We're going to miss him dearly. There was also the Central Basco's 50th anniversary that was held that night, and it was attended by Councilman Earl Elrod. Sunday, April 8th, was the Chino Valley Seroptimist Brew and Chew. That was a lot of fun. I'd never actually attended before, but... Um, it was fun, very warm, but it was fun. Monday, uh, April 9th, we attended, some of us attended the ethics training held here for the council and upper management staff. Wednesday, April 11th, I attended Julie Gobin's viewing in the evening, and then um, after that, the City of Chino volunteer dinner, which was also a lot of fun. April 30th, I'm sorry, uh, Thursday, April 12th, was the Watermaster Appropriative Pool. It was also Julie's funeral. And I have to tell you, it was held at St. Paul's uh, Episcopal, or Episcopal Catholic um, Church in Chino Hills, and it was beautifully done. The priest there did an amazing job. Usually um, funerals can be rather impersonal, but um, he did a really good job on her funeral. She was a wonderful lady. Then uh, that afternoon, I attended the 60 Freeway Central Avenue Improvement Infrastructure meeting. Uh, it's really too bad that that meeting is coming to us rather late in the process. Uh, Caltrans has already made up their mind on some of the design, but we're hoping to um, affect some of it. In fact, renderings are going to be provided to the Planning Commission and the City Council as well before they're approved. And then Friday the 13th, there was supposed to be a Watermaster court hearing, but that was postponed until May. Saturday was the corn feed run, over 800 cars. Um, very, very well attended, like always. Um, just phenomenal staff, did a phenomenal job. Um, there was not a complaint. I, not, I didn't hear a complaint from anyone. It just turned out absolutely fabulous. And for a small town, we can be very, very proud of our nonprofit organizations, um, service organizations. Kiwanis did a fantastic job. Rotary, I think, sold out of all their corn. Uh, <laughs> corn, feed. corn feed. I went to get some corn, and gosh, you know, Matt sold the last two just as I walked up. I think he did that on purpose. But it turned out really fantastic. So with that, then, um, I will call on Mayor Pro Tem Howie. 
Thank you, Eunice. Uh, yeah, definitely the last uh, few weeks, this time of year is so busy for us. There's so many events to attend. The weather's been pretty good, though, the last couple mm -hmm. of weeks, so it's been nice to get out uh, in the springtime for all these different events. Um, on April the 5th, I had a, I consider it water day because I had a uh, water facilities authority meeting in the uh, meeting in the morning and a CDA uh, Chino DeSalter Authority uh, board meeting in the afternoon, so that was a water day. Um, the Seroptimus Brew and Chew, uh, Brew and Chew, they had, I don't know, they probably had about 800 or 900 people show up to that event. It's just amazing how many people, and that was a nice day. It was a little warm in the afternoon, the, kind of the breeze came up, which helps a bit, yeah. but it was still, that was a, a, a good event. Um, uh, the, on the a few, on the 11th, we attended an LA County F Chino Day Fair meeting and got some different news about Chino Day at the Fair this year. We'll be sharing that as we kind of work out uh, Chino Day at the Fair, uh, which will be the fair, I think, runs um, August last weekend, 30th, I think, until uh, uh, September 23rd. It's over the four weekends. And I think uh, our day is going to be the 19th, so you might want to write that down. Uh, the Chino Day at the Fair is going to be the 19th of September. Um, the volunteer dinner I attended also attended a... Um, a San Bernardino uh, Transit Authority um, um, uh, meeting on the 12th. Uh, we had a league dinner on that night. I'm sure uh, Council Member George will talk a little bit about the league dinner uh, on the 12th in Ontario. And then last Sunday, the 15th, I attended the Bridge Church's groundbreaking out in the preserve. And out uh, the, their four acres is right on Pine Avenue. And uh, they had all the shovels, and I, I, I've never seen so many people take a picture with a shovel. <laughs> there must have been, there must have been a hundred people. They all got their shovels and they put their oh helmets my. on, and the, the ground was extremely dry. So they, they had their work cut out for them. <laughs> but uh, the church is um, finally, uh, they've been trying for uh, I think 18 or 19 years to get their own facility, and so the bridge looks like uh, they're start, going to start groundbreaking pretty soon. So that was a good event. And then a, a, a unique event, I was invited to the Girl Scout uh, at Plains of Fame Museum in Chino, mm -hmm. the Girl Scout Flag Retirement Ceremony. And that was very, very interesting. They, uh, the Girl Scouts, they think this is nine years in a row, they get, they get boxes and boxes of old flags, and there they go with their scissors, cut them up and getting them ready because, you know, they burn the stars, and then I think the, they dispose of, of the stripes. Uh, or, I thought yeah, they, they burned the whole thing. I thought they burned oh. the whole thing too, but they, then they got to get fun, somebody to burn it now. It's not that easy uh, to, to do that. But yeah. there must have been about 100 people there, and they had a speaker, and it was uh, and it's so cute because all the little girls got to carry uh, flags of the, of the service, like Army, Air yeah. Force, yeah. Marines, Merchant. I mean, it was, um, it was really good. Uh, they had a speaker, and then one young lady uh, received a Medal of Valor for saving another girl's life at camp. Mm. So uh, she's a Chino resident, and we're going to get her at uh, one of our council meetings to present the certificate. Well, she did the um, signing of, right. of the yes. national anthem yes. at our right. July Yeah, service. and she did the signing there. Yeah, so that was really, really good. It was a, it was a, I, was, I was amazed. It was, a, it was nice of Plains of Fame to let the Girl Scouts come out and do their uh, meeting there. Uh, and it was a good, it was a good, it was really good. So, yeah, that was about it. Great. Councilman Elrod. Yes, Eunice, thank you. Uh, I attended the volunteer dinner and one lady sticks out in my mind. She donates her time at the senior center, 95 years old. And she works out in the gym still. <laughs> so, she? Yeah. So, I mean, I thought that was amazing. She was a real nice lady. Is she going to coach you now? No. No. no that's, those <laughs> days are over. I was should probably but, uh, I also attended the Basque 50th and I have never seen so many Bascos in one spot in my life really they had the biggest turnout ever it was about 250 probably oh, God. then I attended the Basque Easter at the Basque uh, Central Basco and that was about 400 people and uh, the Basque in this community are really active yeah they keep the old traditions up and fly people in and, you know, handball players and all that. So it's always a lot of fun. City put together a really nice basket that I oh, yeah. took to you. Yeah, together. I took it there. Yeah. Yeah, they appreciated that. Oh, uh, good. And then um, the car show, they had 742 pre-sale tickets. Mm -hmm. They could only allow up to 800. That's as much, as much room as they had. So next year, it's going to be pre-ticket sales only. Yeah. No, just... Nobody drive up. No, there's no room, you know, so 
one problem that they had was people were showing up at mm -hmm. even before 4.30 in the morning and parking, which they weren't supposed mm -hmm. to do. So they could have actually fit more people in, but because the people parked incorrectly yeah. Yeah. and had easy ups and stuff in, they had, yeah, they had to limit it. They had 36 semis. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Did you see the trucks on Chino yeah, Avenue? Some, yeah. They were even parked across the street on Central, below the railroad tracks. Yeah, it, it, so many. It's a big event. It very is very big event. It's a good event. Oh, it's a fantastic event. Yeah. In fact, I'm, um, I'm going to bring it up during our budget hearing that I think we need to. The city needs to participate with uh, Kiwanis in, in the car show and in the concerts on the lawn now. Well, really, we do participate. Well, you know what I mean. I mean, help up financially a little bit. Well, we'll talk about that at bud budget time. Yeah. But yeah, the car show turned out great. And that concludes my report. Okay. Councilman George, you have item number 15 as well. I do. Uh, the, I'd like to uh, help get uh, some support, uh, community support contributions to various community and youth organizations. Uh, my recommendation is to approve the following community support contributions to be expended from the, from the community support program. Uh, $500 to the YMCA, $250 to the Chino Cultural Foundation for Art Uncorked, which is coming up on the 19th, by the way, and there, there are still tickets available. Uh, $500 to the Chino Police Department, the Mentoring Alliance of Police and Students, the MAPS program. $250 to the Seroptimus Brew and Shoe, where Tom and I poured. $250 to the uh, Rancho Del Chino Rotary Bingo. $250 to the Chino Valley Historical Society Barn, and $250 to the American Legion Post 299 down the street. Okay, there's a motion from Count, uh, Mayor Pro, oops. Mayor Pro, Pro Tem <laughs> Howie, and second from <laughs> Councilman Elrod, and the item passed four yes, one absent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I have a, a small report here. Okay. Yeah, I'll believe that one. <laughs> You'll be back. Okay. On, but this was this is a busy time. I can I can't believe how busy this is. On uh, April the sixth, uh, the Arbor Day celebration with uh, with the mayor, with Eunice and uh, Brenda Strong from the Community Services uh, Commission. And on four seven, uh, Healthy Chino Day over at Ayala Park. Again, Brenda Strong and I were there. Now the uh, interesting thing about that one is that the um, Brenda and I went over to the bungee jumping. Uh, area and we were j we were ready to get on and go bungee jumping, but they weren't ready for us yet, so we had to we had to walk away. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. For a minute. <laughs> uh, the uh, four eight, the Seroptimus Brew and Shoe, and I had mentioned that Tom and I poured. I've never done that before, and that was that was interesting. Um, on four nine, uh, ethics training, and then uh, attended the uh, cultural arts committee uh, regarding the. Uh, a committee meeting regarding again art uncorked at uh, once again Brenderson Hall 419 be there or B square on 410 uh, <laughs> I chaired a very interesting uh, uh, set of meetings for the uh, I'm, I'm part of the oversight board for the uh, Chino Inst uh, the California Institute for Men and the uh, California Institute for Women and um, we had some visitors to that meeting that somehow had were under the impression that this was a public hearing on the uh, on the uh, uh, mental health facility at CIM. And um, I had to explain to them that's not exactly what, what we were doing there and they had even missed that the, uh, the CIM group and they were already, had already given their report and gone. They were supposed to be here tonight to express their um, vehemence against, the, against this project. They don't, they don't want it either. They're all from, they're all from College Park and um, don't like the idea and they do like the idea that we're kind of working you know against it ourselves so i thought they might be here tonight to, to speak they said they were going to be um then i represented uh, chino at the uh, ciw california uh, california prison authority graduation this is a new one I mean, they've had the as associate arts program there for for quite a while but this one um is the uh is a program and this the, at this graduation uh there were 77 graduates from this, from this particular grant. In pre-apprentice carpentry, pre-apprentice construction labor, healthcare and facilities maintenance, and a, and a coding class. Now the, the, the unique thing about this program is they are guaranteed, when, they, when they're released, they are guaranteed positions. There are positions waiting, waiting for, this, for these graduates. Uh, they pay their union dues, 
they get them the job, they make sure that, that everything works out okay. And this, I mean, you talk about cutting down on recidivism. This is an amazing program that will do that. So it's, yeah, I hadn't heard of that one either until, until I attended this one. Um, on the 11th, the uh, Chino Community Committee meeting uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, Tom. Uh, and again, he had already, already mentioned, but it's kind of a different situation with the Kids Day at the Fair and, and Chino Day at the Fair. And it's, uh, we're, we're working it out and, uh, with the, our partners, Chino Valley Unified School District. And uh, I, think it's gonna, I think it's gonna fly. It wasn't going to fly, but it's going to fly now. The, um, and then, okay, then I attended the Chino Rotary meeting at noon, and the reason I bring this up is because uh, the presentation of that Rotary meeting is by a fairly new uh, Chino Rotarian, Ariana Fajardo, and, and, and Ariana is part of a program called Big Sisters, uh, it might be Big Sisters, Big Brothers, but she did the Big Sisters part of it, and did the presentation at the, at the, uh, at the Rotary meeting, and once again, our staff, as phenomenal as they are, Ariana did a fantastic job, and it was really well well done. Great job, Ariana. I told you I was going to embarrass you. And, uh, and then that evening, the uh, Chino Volunteer Recognition Dinner, which again, staff, great job on that one too. Um, on the four, on the twelfth, the League of California Cities. I attended the executive board meeting, and then the dinner afterwards, where a, uh, there was a presentation on Calpers, and one of the uh, one of the presenters was our own Rob Burns, who did a great job on talking about. Right there, who did a great job on uh, talking about uh, the, what we had passed a, a few meetings ago mm -hmm. on how we were going to handle CalPERS, and I think they were, uh, they were very, very impressed. So great job, Rob. Again, Steph, fantastic. The, uh, on the 13th, I presented a certificate to Magnolia Junior High School for their 50th anniversary, and there were even teachers there from 50 years ago that came, really? came to the event and spoke, and it was, just, it was, uh, it was really well done, and uh, it's a great school. I say it's a great school because my granddaughter, one went there and now it's in Chino High and my other granddaughter's there now. The, um, it's just a little biased. Yeah, just a little biased. On the 14th, again, the corn feed run and you said there was only 800 allowed, so the uh, cars allowed, so I won't say that there were 830. Uh, we, we, won't, we won't go past that. But Walt and team and staff and everybody, a great, a, a, another great job. That, that was an amazing event. Uh, on the 16th, uh, Representative Chino at the uh, Child Development Center reading program. I got to read again to the uh, to the uh, preschoolers at the uh, over at the Pomona Fairgrounds. And the reason I was invited is because they invited uh, council members from uh, uh, different cities around because uh, a lot of the a lot of the students that are there uh, are from Chino, so it uh, worked out really well. No one, yeah, I can solve the, I'll say this, and no one from the Pomona Council showed up. <laughs> I, just, I can't understand that. The um, Okay, and then we had a, a, a the meeting we thought, we had a meeting with the Chino Valley Unified School District to talk about the, the new issues for the uh, Chino Day at the Fair and the, and the uh, Kids Day at the LA County Fair. And I, like I said, I think we're, we've, we've got the, that worked out. And last but not least, we have a, a celebrity with us this evening. And uh, you know, you've heard the program, uh, Dancing with the Stars. Okay, we have a dancing star with us this evening. Aaron Tobin, would, can you come up to the... Uh, <laughs> you want to you want to explain uh, you know what a kind of a dancing champion you are, please. I I've been doing I, a traditional Irish dance for about two decades now, and um, a week and a half ago I went to Maastricht, Netherlands, and I came in twelfth. Um, in the World Irish Dance Championship. So 12th in the world. 12th in the Personal world. best. <laughs> Did you want to give us a little demonstration? or? You, you want to see a demonstration right now? <laughs> no, I don't want to embarrass you. Uh, after you turn the camera off and it's not on public <laughs> record, that'd be great. <laughs> I think we'll be doing something later, right? You know? <laughs> That Thank is you. fantastic. Thank you very, very much. It's the city proud, you did the champion proud. So thank you. Pardon? You did the city proud and you did the champion proud. So I do my best. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. That is, I, that is an amazing dance. I, uh, my husband and I got to go see what they call river dance one time. And oh, yeah. it's, it's amazing. I, if I tried 10 steps, I'd pass out. <laughs> yeah, it's just, active. it's amazing. So Aaron, congratulations. Yeah, Anything cool. else, Gary? 
Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Yes, yes Earl. I forgot. Uh, I got an email today from Daisy Press that lives in New York. Uh huh. And she watches uh, Shark Tank. I guess it's called. Yeah. And two girls from Chino got a contract from them. Really? Yeah, won a contract from them. So. Do you uh, remember what the product was or anything? I can look it up. Oh. But yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Neat. Okay, Councilman Rodriguez is not here. Mr. Ballantyne. Yes, Mayor. Um, I do want to commend uh, Kiwanis for a very successful event, and thanks for all the staff support. Um, I think the real neat thing is all the proceeds from those events are reinvested in our community. Mm -hmm. um, I also would be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, the Rotary Club, uh, Rancho Del Chino Rotary Club, is having Bingo de Mayo on April 30th of all days. Um, and uh, it's being held at, uh, it's, again, it's on a Monday at 5.30, and we're serving a, uh, uh, some Mexican food, and then we're going to play some bingo. Uh, and it's at the fairgrounds, Chino Fairgrounds. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. And Fred, anything this evening? I just want to thank everyone who showed up to my AV 1234 conflict of interest training. <laughs> you know, it was uh, riveting, but uh, I appreciate all of the attendance. Thank you. You're welcome. And Chief, anything this evening? Okay. Any? Who's here from the fire department? Yes, sir. And no report. So with that, we will adjourn to our next regular meeting, held be, to be held on Tuesday, May 1st at 7 o'clock with a closed session, starting at 6 if necessary. We are adjourned.